another story here from um, Jamie White, Infowars.com. Ted Cruz, the left, is using Charlottesville to label the GOP as crazy, racist, nutbags. There's a picture of Ted Cruz there, BuzzFeed special on Infowars.com. Check that out if you're interested. So it says here we'll go to Infowars news site News Wars for the full story. So we'll click on that immediately. When the Xbox wants to fucking work. Alright, so this is Infowars new website News Wars. We have here. The Democrats and the main scum media are seizing the issues surrounding the violence in Charlottesville to depict Republicans and Conservatives as crazy, racist nutbags, says Ted Cruz. The media and the Democrats, to the surprise of no one, are... Demagoging this issue and using it for political advantage, Cruz said in a radio interview Tuesday on the Mark Davis show. In the media's telling, they want to tar and feather any Republican, any conservative, and paint us as these crazy racist nutbags. Violence erupted Saturday between white nationalists and Antifa in Charlottesville, Virginia, where the former group was protesting the removal of a civil war uh, statue, the General Robert E. Lee one. One woman died and 19 others were injured after a 20-year-old James Alex Fields ploughed a car into a group of Antifa counter-protesters amid the chaos. Yeah... The silly bastard could have uh, not done that. A member of Republican leaders decided that the violence and issued strong statements against the Unite the Right rally, including Cruz, who called the white supremacists repulsive and evil. It's tragic and heartbreaking to see hatred and racism once again mar our great nation with bloodshed. Wool. Ted, I think it's been happening, you know, for God knows how many years now, and it just seems to blow up and blow up and blow up. Um, Cruz says that he thinks that the car attack should be investigated as domestic terrorism. Unconvinced by these sensible remarks, the corporate media continued to demonise Republicans as racists all over the weekend. So you got the media in bed with obviously one political party and they're trying to smear the opposition to that political party by calling them all these names, you know. There's a rally that goes on, 500 people turn up, maybe 20 of them turn up with white fucking bed sheets and run amok. And then the same with the left as well, you know. You get people that go to counter-argue for the left... But then you get these groups of people amongst them that want to come and turn out for violence. So when Trump said that it's a two-sided issue, there's bad on both sides, he's exactly right. And it's up to you to do something about the narrative. The media won't do anything about it. The government won't do anything about it. You know, absolutely, definitely the government won't do anything about it. So you have to do something about it. Don't sit around and wait for someone else to do something about it. You do something about it. Say, look, this is not good enough. Smearing the entire political opposition with one brush is the same sort of idiotic mentality that racist people themselves actually use, you see, because racists will tarnish an entire crowd with one brush. And the left don't like it when the right tarnish a crowd with one brush, but when it comes to tarnishing a crowd with one brush, the left just love doing it themselves. Yet they hate other people that do it. You know, it's absolutely mind-blowing, this hypocrisy of the left and the, the way that the media, the mainstream scumbag media, 
helps them do it. So get out there and do something about it yourself. Go down to your local media station, tell them to get fucked, hold up signs saying they're fake, fucking wait around for them, eh? Because like, they all finish work early afternoon, so as they're coming out of work, harass the fuck out of them. Put signs all in their face, get up in their face, get up in their grill, tell them they're fake, tell them they're a piece of shit, tell them to suck the fart out of your ass. You need to harass the fuck out of these mainstream media people because they're the ones that are to blame, not individuals, not fucking large groups. It's the media themselves and these fucking idiot politicians that are constantly putting it out there. So you need to get up and take a stand and do something about it now.